This is my 1995 Road Track RV that uh, the weakest part of the system was the actual generator that came with the unit. It was an Onan micro light that was mounted underneath the back bumper. Had a lot of problems with it and could never actually get it to uh, operate the RV reliably. I uh, tried a Honda EU 2000 and I and uh, was told by the Honda dealer that it wouldn't be large enough to start a 10,500 BTU air conditioner and uh, we took it over and, and we even uh, surprised the Honda dealer that this was able to do the job. But I wanted to show you what this is, uh, what this works like as it starts the generator and I start out with it on echo throttle. I have a separate cable that is hooked up to the original generator uh, position on the inverter that's mounted inside. So you can see how this starts. Leave the echo throttle off, choke on. I'm going to allow it to run here for a couple minutes and uh, the air conditioning unit will start and you can hear the load come on the generator. Right now the inverter is, uh, there's a uh, 30 second delay before the uh, generator power comes on as you can hear the air conditioner just started now once it started I turn the echo throttle on and the generator will sit there and uh, operate uh, just above idle uh, on a hot day the generator with uh, 1.1 gallons of fuel will operate just about five hours on echo throttle uh, and it's worked fine it's uh, uh, been the best investment I could make and it was about the third of the cost of replacing the Onan generator.